Hi everyone, Sonia here, and you're watching Pouring with Sonia. And I'm going to do um, just the blues and greens now in this um, spin, swirl, swipe, spin, swipe, swirl, whatever it is, my little Kohru spiral. <laughs> I'm putting some spa blue down here first. You don't want nearly as much pillow for this. You want it definitely on the thin side. You're not going to tilt or um, really spin after this. It's on a turntable because you'll see it just makes life so much easier. I'm just going to spread some of this out. So I've got a nice layer of pillow for the paints to slide around on top of. Um, but not a huge amount. In fact, I'm going to just kind of try and even this out so there's not too much in the middle or anywhere. All right, there we have it. And I'm just going to wipe my hands off real quick. And so now I'm just going to come in with some of these blues that I've got and greens that I've got and use up some of this paint. Might as well. All right, so the first color I'm going to put down is the rest of my... Payne's Gray. This is just a, this is Creative Inspirations Payne's Gray. I just like it. It's a nice aqua type color. It's not as um, dark as some of the other Payne's Grays out there. I'm using the Shelley Carruthers Pouring Medium for this technique. Oh, I'll show you the consistency. Well, I barely have enough paint left. <laughs> so the consistency of this is just like any other where it drips and flows nice and elastic-y and ribbon-y, but it creates a little mound before it drops down. Okay? So I want it not super thin, but I still want it to really stretch well. And this is some Joe Sonia Cobalt Blue mixed with some Color Art Stargazer. Just to pop up and give a little punch to that pigment. Mm -mm -mm. Using up the rest of my paints. Now I have a little bit of, see, I don't have much at all. Um, this is just a Joe Sonia Thalo Blue with a little bit of. Color Art Blue Bayou. And you can tell, obviously, I'm not really trying to be, I'm just haphazardly putting this down. It doesn't matter if it gets out here, it doesn't matter because I'm going to pull it all around anyways. Just want a little bit of the color everywhere. Now I have some, this is Joe Sonia Aqua. There's no pigment in this at all. And this is an opaque color. So I like having some of the opaques mixed in with the transparents, the semi-transparents, and hopefully we'll get some nice little, well, I'm not gonna get really peacocky cells, I don't think, not with this method. I wonder if I should just blow this out. It's so much paint. <laughs> and now I have some, this little piggy, um, Lakeside, pretty color. And again, this is just gonna give me some fun shimmer. I think this is Lakeside. Yeah, it's not Peacock. Lakeside or Mermaid, I'm not sure, one of those. I'm just gonna get every last little bit out. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I wonder if I should just blow a bloom. <laughs> okay, now I've got some This Little Piggy Lily Pad. Beautiful, fun, bright green. Look how fun that is. Okay. Way too much pink for a bloom, <laughs> right? Way too much pink, period. Okay, and this is Joe Sonia Yellow Green. 
I did add some pigments to this. I added some of the lily pad to punch up that color and some color art sun oh my gosh why can't I remember sunburst and this is just a Joe Sonia Thalo green no pigment okay it's a lot of paint y'all now what I do with this technique is I grab my little spreader tool which shouldn't have gone too far because I just finished doing this. Oh, here it is. Okay. It's got so much paint on it, it blended in. And um, this is just like a grout spreading tool that's got the notched edges. So if you just looked for a notched tool, oh my gosh, let me, let me wipe off some of the paint I've gotten on this from my last one. And I'm gonna take this medium side and come over here and just start pulling it out in a circle. What I always mess up with is I leave too much in the middle, so I try not to do that this time. And that is why the turntable comes in super handy, is just for that part right there. Okay, I mean, and it's kind of pretty just like that, right? <laughs> it is. But now I'm going to do, take it one step further, and I'm gonna add my little spiral to it. Well, swirl, I guess. So what I do for this is I get a little, um, gosh, I thought I wiped all these off and out, but I'm finding, oh, I must've put it down in some paint. So I, you need a little flat bottom shovel scoop or something, just a flat bottom, not the round. It works better with the flat. And um, this one broke. I have my little handle. This was a little candy scoop I got a garage sale last summer. And the handle broke, and I'm devastated. <laughs> so I can't, I found um, a flat bottom that's like this wide, and that's way too wide. And then I found round bottoms that's, Nar you know, more narrow, but I can't find a flat bottom that's narrow. All right, so now I'm going to add some cell activator to my scoop. I'm going to add some black. You actually do need quite a bit of cell activator for this because you're spinning it all around this. And then some gold. And you don't want it to run out. And now I'm going to add some white. So kind of a lot. Okay. Now the part I always have trouble with, with this technique, with this little, is I get so much in the middle that, and not enough like of this scraping over it that it doesn't create cells, it just creates colors. So I wish I could figure out how to fix that. But you wanna make it a little bit wide. You wanna leave yourself a decent amount of space and you're just pouring this out all the way to the edge, like so. And now what I'd really like to do, I'm gonna wipe this off, is come back over this a little bit and with some of this black in the center and see if I can't get some cells by pressing down a little harder. I did, I got a few cells, good, good. Okay. So that's looking good, except for in the very, very middle, but I just don't know. <laughs> oh no, let's try that again. Let me tighten that up a little bit there. I'm getting a lot of stuff in here now. Okay, that's the best I can do. She just learned to leave well enough alone, but I never do. And now the last thing I need is, oh God, there's some pretty lacing. Um, a little tool, a little dotting tool. This is a clay working tool. And what I wanna do now is I'm gonna start with the motion of, and now this is really wide in here, so I'm gonna make some big spirals. And you're gonna make spirals based on how wide the gap is in here, okay? Um, if the gap's real big, you can make real big spirals. It's real small here, I'll do some real small spirals and then I'll get real big here, and then I'll get smaller again. So I'm gonna kind of follow the width of these 
the blank space, okay? And I'm just gonna kinda, I'm gonna do this twice, so I'm gonna kinda follow the pattern here. I'm kinda going this way, so I'm gonna keep going this way, and I'm gonna start on the inside, and I'm just gonna make little spirals. The goal is to fill up the empty space, not go over the lacing. So I'll just barely touch the outside of that lacing, the edge of it, if at all, but I'm not trying to wreck that lacing. So I'm gonna start here, nice and small, but here it's already getting bigger. See how my spiral's getting bigger? I wanna fill up about half of that space because I'm gonna come back the other way. I can get a little bit smaller here because my gap is smaller. And, and now I'm holding the turntable steady. I don't want it moving with me. And now I'm going to wipe that off and I'm going to come back in the opposite direction for the outside. So I'm going to come here and I went in like this this time. I'm going to go out like this this time. So I'm going to come here and now my goal is to fill in the space. So I'm going to go as big or little as I need to and it actually makes like little pretty little hearts. It's going bigger here because I had more space and then a little bit smaller here. So you're not thinking too much about the spiral. You're just letting the motion take care of itself, but you're thinking about how much space am I trying, how big am I trying to make that spiral? Make it a little bit smaller here and then it gets real small by the time I get down here. quite pretty. Oh, that's so much prettier than the one with purple. It's really quite pretty. I love how I have like the blues that go into the teals that go into the greens. <gasps> that one's pretty, y'all. All right, so I'll bring you down for a close-up. And I have a, a little drying area that's very level, all ready to go. Um, and that's really important I mean, it's important with all of your paintings, right? But, I mean, these spirals, you want them to stay in a pretty spiral formation. So any, if it's not level, it's going to slide off and it's not going to look as pretty. So, let me bring you down for this. And it's quite pretty. I've got lots of good lacing all the way around. Here are the outside. The gold's popping up. The black in places but really that the color that's on the top of your cell activator is going to be the most prevalent so the white was on the top and it's picking up some of the colors the gold is next okay and then the black is the least amount that's showing up um, there's a little bit of black just for definition so you can see in the middle here there's not a lot of lacing okay I even tried to go back over it there's not a lot of lacing but it's really pretty in the middle no matter if there's lacing or not. And then your lacing kind of starts by the time you get around your second spiral. So here's the center. There's no lacing, right? there's a tiny bit there, but I mean, really it's not about the lacing in the center. It's about that really pretty pattern. But by the time you get out, just slightly out, there some of my lacing has begun. And that's really beautiful. And I'll just follow this around the outside so you can see the lacing next to the pretty little spiral pattern I made and I got into some teals I mean I've got even some really fun peacocky cells in this I mean that's blues and greens and teals in this little lacing surrounded by gold it's quite pretty look at those little cells oh my gosh really pretty 
you're not going to get huge cells with this because you're not stretching or spinning or anything. The idea is to have this beautiful pattern that kind of goes in between the beautiful lacing. And so that is that. That one's really pretty. I like that one a lot. I'm very happy with that one, the blues and the greens. So I will... And I like how it's, again, I like how it's like the blue in the middle. And then it kind of, you know, spreads out to the greens. The blues, teals, and greens. All right. That is kind of my peacocky um, spiral challenge. So I did this spiral challenge, uh, peacock challenge earlier. and But I couldn't help myself. I had to add purple. So... <laughs> This one is really more peacocky without the purple. It's got the blues, the greens, and the golds. So I guess I'll post that one too. <laughs> so um, I hope that you've enjoyed watching this and that you'll give this a try. Um, it's not that hard. Just make sure you don't have a lot of pillow. You'll have surprisingly thinner pillow than you think. Um, did, I sh did I show you the consistency of the paints? I think I did. But um, yeah, I said it was real elastic -y, right? So it's the same, um, I don't know, I'm just making sure I did show you, and I don't have many paints left, but, <laughs> so, I don't have much on there to drizzle off, but it's still stretching, even though there's only a tiny bit on it, and then it, it piles up before it goes down, so, I'm sorry if I didn't show you that before, um, and then you just need, like, some kind of a flat bottom candy scoop and if anybody knows where I can get a one inch wide flat bottom that's what I need and want <laughs> not a round bottom and then your cell activator which is the Shelly Art um, Australian Floetrol to your paint and your kind of scraper tool to spread it all out oh, gosh could have just seen me flinging that in and your little dotting tool I mean and that's what you need and then you just go for it so I hope that you've enjoyed this and if so, please give it a thumbs up. I'm starting to do more of my videos again. I was really lax for a while. Um, so if you'd like to be notified, please subscribe and hit that little bell so that you can see whenever I post something new. And I like trying to be a teacher and showing you what I'm doing and how I'm doing it, not just play music while I'm doing it. I like to try and explain it to you so that you can learn with me because that's how I learned. So I hope that you've enjoyed this. Please give it a thumbs up. And until we meet again, have fun painting, everyone. Bye-bye.